well as well, actually. So Shudo sure, was yeah. in the first season of the Rage Street Fighter League in Japan. He was on the second place team. He was on Nemo's team, if you guys uh, are familiar with it. His current team is actually, I think, one of the strongest teams. It's Bonchan, Fudo, and Shuto. That's mm -hmm. the team that he is on currently. Tokido's on uh, Gachikun. Yeah. yeah, he's on Gachikun's with Haku, the Fong player on there, who is super good. He OCV'd. Fujimura, Machibo, and Johnny uh, when they played in the qualifier, so that's how Haku got there. So Shuto, really, really strong Arian player. He was on Nemo's team for SFL before. He used to go by Anmon, if you guys look up replays uh, for Japanese players. He's like a super ultra grandmaster warlord ranked Arian player. He's got all the titles combined, essentially. Yeah, he made it into SFL via the College League. Uh, last season, he was just in the league and he played on it. This year, uh, he made it in via College League. Really strong player, and he's up against Tokido here in a matchup that I think traditionally Tokido does fine in. Standing medium kick. kick. This is cool, man. Reversal headbutt. Raw. Crouch, fierce, anti air, ready for it. Cancel into the metallic sphere. Yeah, and that's something about this matchup is that the anti air, there's a what lot of. A reaction there. Medium toxic past the metallic sphere. Beautiful. Yeah, right through the fireball. There's a lot of things you yeah. have to be ready for on the air approach from Akuma. In this version of the game, right, you have to be very prepared. If you don't have down charge like that for the EX headbutt, or if you don't have uh, V skill for the armor, it can be pretty tough to anti air sometimes. Against the Akuma in particular. Scary range to throw fireballs. That's right about Try that medium Tatsu range. Too. Yeah. Kido caught him, trying to dash forward, got a big conversion and the side switch as well. Again, those plus three normals with crouch strong. Shudo found an opening. Mm -hmm. Maximize the damage. <gasps> Reset. Oh, he the got counter hit. hit! I wonder if Tokido tried to tech or jab, like uh, to check him off the mirror, hoping that he was negative while he was falling. Mm -hmm. But uh, he didn't get it there. So Shuto, first round with the uh, Aegis activation, confirmed it off the EX tackle. Whiff the punish. whiff punish from the quarrel punch. Uh, uh, uh. Dash EX uppercut for the extension. Oh, nice. It's so active. Yeah. That's one of the things about it being slow, actually. It kind of helped him out there. I think he missed the cancel off the forward medium punch. He just got caught raw with the knees. Oh, uh, confirmed. So Kido ready for the dash. You oh, know that I walk like back that heavy kick? House. That's really good for beating people's throws. It pulls Yurian's hurt box back, mm -hmm. and it catches jumps preemptively, too. It's You know, you see Shudo use it quite a bit on the ground. Yeah, looking for the activation from uh, Tokido. He hasn't gone for it just yet. <gasps> Man, Shudo's playing this match great so far. Beer Russell's available. <gasps> he eats caught. It. You're dead. Wow, just, he just like that. He the jump in fierce, the jump in heavy punch into the full sequence. Shudo just wasn't ready for it. You gotta understand that. I mean, like, he might have tried to anti air crouch face, whatever. But either way, just wasn't in time. Didn't even have meter to even try to get too much head block back. stun from the red fireball. I'm surprised he went for it. But that round was all him until that very end where he gets eats it. Yeah, you see the jump fireballs. Oh. Not a great way to contest them. And now Tokido with corner pressure already double crushed. Doesn't have the uppercut because he has no EX gate. Another throw. Applying all this pressure. Nice break. Uppercut. Interrupt. One more for Dizzy. Goes low. He Triple threatened low. the instant overhead. Nice, nice the use of the roundhouse. Ugh. Break out of the corner. Coral punch into the mirror. Yeah, headbutt for the extension. No way. Walk. The stun is coming. He's got the second mirror for the setup here in the corner, so he's gonna go for the mirror setup off of this uh, pop. In the front, Tokido's gonna take the side switch. Uh -uh. So he can't wake up mirror here. He doesn't have enough frames. The headbutt. But he can headbutt past the forward fierce. That was so good. He just downcharged after. Got the headbutt in time. Shuto Yurian, first game. That was off of Tokido doing a neutral jump fierce yeah. on Shuto's wake up. And then did forward heavy punch. He had enough time after blocking the jump heavy punch to down charge, that see the forward insane. heavy punch, and then EX At the up. very, very last second. Yeah. Good call there from Shudo. What a, oh wow, what a game. Actually. Yeah, if you don't get the headbutt out there and you just get dunked, you're dead. Mm -hmm. You're deader than dead. Jump in. Mm -hmm. Good setup there from Tokido. Very good against like tall characters like Yurian too. You know, one thing about him is without EX gauge and without uh, down charge, he has no reversal. So you have to you know, go for those jump ins. Oh. Perfect. Well and spaced. the spacing. Maximizing the damage off that, but still goes for the setup instead. Because he saw the stun gauge, right? He wanted to make sure he can capitalize it without too much scaling behind it. Yeah, throw would have killed, I think, Raw Mirror. And the teleport so beautiful. He knew it. He was like, I'll just get out of here, dude. What are you going to do? No way to chase it. Even like an EX tackle, I don't think would have chased. Man, Tokido is ready. Went for the instant overhead. Shudo read fuzzy. that. He woke up crouching heavy punch. Ah, uh, the buffer. So yeah, I think Shudo knew that he was going to go for that and just try to block, block and like instant punish or something with Crouching Heavy Punch. Yeah, he just missed it. Tokido just slightly off the mark for that fuzzy setup. Shudo uh, just wasn't ready for uh, what would happen afterwards. Just the whiff. Yeah, the new drop. Yeah, that was good timing. 
Like, he, he just knew that it was going to come out. No hit confirm from Tokido. He was already going to do the fireball. Look at that. Every time he, he does jump air fireball, him. he just jumps back. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have, like, a good answer to beat it without Ooh. EX headbutt or armor, so he needs V-Skill. Yeah. Giving up some of that space, at least you don't have to contest what comes after, right? You can't predict what Tokido's going to do. He just doesn't want to be in that situation, trying to be risk averse. Yeah, I like the Tokido air fireball approach. That should have been that the round. Been hit. Yeah, that should have been actually the game. Challenge? That's crazy. That was a big, scary challenge from Tokido with the X uppercut. Had it been blocked, Shudo did have, what, two bars, full V-Trigger? It could have been dead. Yeah, it was in a bad spot for sure. The thing is, is that uh, Yurian Crouching Medium Punch is zero on block, and Tokido has hit a button that's too slow to challenge each time. If you hit Standing Jab, you can challenge and beat whatever he hits after. Uh, he tried Standing, or I think Crouching Jab or something. He did like a four-frame button, is whatever he was. I don't remember what it was, but it traded with what Shudo did after. So the rematch, Tokido thinking about it. Taking his breather. We don't even have to see the player cam. I already know. He's already doing his, uh, his breathing ritual every one of the games. Yeah, he's probably bouncing up and down in his chair, doing some kind of ritual, maybe headbutting someone in the crowd. Drinking whatever drink he had in that commercial. Yeah, probably actually. I was looking at some of the archives from like TGS, how we didn't get to see the player cam. Oh, talking what? About A controller got unplugged? Oh, hold up. Did Tokido stick stop working? What was that icon? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Tokido hit him. He hit him with the OK thumbs up. The season one? And then he hit him with the, yeah, the water drink ad. He's ready. Tokido just looks like he's having a lot of fun when he plays. I think really enjoying the games you play makes you a better player. That is my <laughs> thought on that. So I think you really you have to like it. Yeah. Man. Who would have thought like it, it, right? That's weird, dude. <laughs> that was a good punish earlier on the knee drop by Tokido. Stood up, blocked it. Nice try on the counter hit combo from Shuto. Ooh. He was a little too far. Ooh. Whip punish. Ooh, whiff punish. He took Here's a little step in first too, right? Right after the whip punish, he was ready for it. Ooh, tried again. That time with standing medium kick for a little bit more damage. Ooh! Not caught at the tail end of the fierce again. He might have tried to go for the whip punish, but just a little bit too early. Yeah, and that raw fierce, like max distance. Oh, like big that. time punish! Mm-hmm. Yurian has a good punish on that because he can hit you out of the air. You punish. tried it, minus. Yeah, beautiful. Very that is, much so punishable. What is that, minus five? It's like, yeah, it's minus six, minus, something minus like six? that. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the two. But the thing is, yeah, it must have been six. Yurian doesn't have a five frame. Gotcha, uh, gotcha, medium. gotcha yeah. Uh, yeah, in that situation too, it was good awareness from Shuto to do the uh, crashing medium punch into the headbutt to push him into the mirror. <laughs> that was like situational awareness. That was very solid. Big jump in, uncontested. You know, it's funny. I never really thought about, oh, he was a little too Ooh. far. Counter hit combo? Counter no, it doesn't get it, but he gets the uh, plus Cross frame. Cross instead. Yeah, standing light kick from Yurian, very plus. This is the round, actually. Yax, that'll Ooh, do it. Two rounds straight from Shudo, and look at the life lead there, going into the next game. The momentum carrying over from this game is absolutely pivotal for Shudo. That was a beatdown. He just had a really good read about, I think, like Tokido's grounded, uh, like grounded approach, and then obviously the start of that round was just Tokido making an unforced error. The crashing medium kick, medium Tatsu didn't mm -hmm. hit at that range. Kind of the curse of hit confirming, right? He hit confirmed it, but like it didn't work. Yeah. So it's like you try to do something really good, but it didn't turn out to be that great. It's hard when you're watching your opponent kind of like walking and blocking. You see the character walk forward. It's like yeah. I swear I got him. Yeah, and your crouching medium kick hits, but it just doesn't combo into the medium pots. Oh, that too, yeah, from that far away? Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Nice jab. One thing about Tokido that he's very good at is using his jab to just check people walking in. Ooh. And that low medium kick too. I mean, Akuma has great buttons that really just check forward movement. Whiff punish. Nice whiff punch again, that low forward. A ton of mileage out of it. Tokido's trying to lock down Shudo in this corner. If he doesn't have any back away, a little bit, a big old jump in. Right yeah. over the metallic sphere. That's like the second or third big jump we've just seen Shudo eat to the head, right? He just stood there and been like, uh, and then he just gets clipped by it. Yeah, negative after that. Oh, Ooh, he tried to hit max punch. distance. It's not easy to punish that on whiff. It's actually faster than you expect, mm -hmm. I think. Tokido, no three-frame yeah, confirmed this time. Wake up jab headbutt again. He's really like that option Ooh. so far. Ooh, miss base. And he base. drops what? A whiff on it? Yeah, not too much damage, but at least he gets the setup. Oh no, puts himself in the corner though. Or at least towards the corner. Yeah, Shudo had the counter hit, but didn't get the combo. <gasps> again, he puts himself at the right time, right when Tokido wants to go for the air fireball. He just passes right through, gets the dash in, and a full-on punish. Shudo 
now at match point. Yeah, one sign of an expert Urian player, like a really master level Urian player, is dashing up and then anti-airing you on the other side. Counter hit combo. Uh. No meter though. Yeah, jump EX air fireball. I wonder Get if he did that. Uh, he did that because he's he's been jumping or uh, dashing forward a lot. So maybe that was the read. Wow, jumping. No anti air from Tokido. He just hit the jab. Dash up. No Don't challenge. Oh. A little too far. He had to do light tatsu instead. A couple of draws oh, from Tokido. Yeah, this is big. Activates. Uh. Clip them. Knockdown here. He has V trigger. Demon or not, that's the guess. In the front. Oh, didn't get a jungle after. Raw Miri teleports again. Out of there. Smart move from Tokido. Critical Art still on deck. No longer in V-Trigger, though. Yeah, don't put out the second mirror. Oh, he got Critical Art instead of Ant here. Is it still going to hit in time? It does. It does not. He missed the, the push. push the, the mirror, mirror to si save him off the sweep. Walk up. Oh, the, the low, low shoot, sword. though. Yuri and over Tokido. Man, that was such a big drop. Tokido tried to Ooh. anti air uppercut, and he got Critical Art on accident. Big input error, no punish from Shoot though, which to be fair. Oh my goodness, I the think amount as, of stress. Yeah, I think as Yuri in there, he, he can't reach with any of the buttons that he would have had besides maybe sweep or something. So, you know, he tried to crash a medium punch, not enough range to get the uh, punish. Mm -hmm. And I love that sweep, and then still remembered to do close mirror after. He was oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, I still have second mirror activation. Mm -hmm. So Tokido tried to hit a button on the sweep, got hit by it afterwards. That was good.